for many other things, my hope is to get you shift and shape your calculations. We all have the capability to change and grow. And what can you do to make this happen? They are the few things that you can for sure do. The steps are very simple and the first and the foremost thing is to practice consistently. And your consistent practice will take you far ahead from where you are. And these problems are so simple to solve. And let's get started with today's video on number theory. And this is related to MFCS, DMS and DMGT. Now, the two questions are flashing on the screen. The first one is we have to find the GCD between the two numbers. And the next thing is we have to find the GCD between these two numbers and find the relation between U and V in this particular equation. The first question is we have to find the GCD of these two numbers. So, in order to find the GCD, what we have to do? So, we have to divide. So, I am going to use the division algorithm here. So, in order to divide, so which number is bigger and which number is smaller? So, I am dividing this 4, 2, 8, 2, 3 divided by, this is a 6, 4, 0, 9. And see, if I divide, so this goes in 6 times. See here, 6, 4, 0, 9 into 6. So, this is 54, this is 24, 2, this is 38. So, this will be 3, 8, 4, 5, 4 in 6 times. So here this will be 9. So 1. So this is 6 and this one is 3 and this one is 4. Clear. And next one I'm bringing this is 6, 4, 0, 9 here. And again so this will be for 1 time. So this is 4, 3, 6, 9. So again if I subtract this is 0. And if I take a borrow, this is 4 and this is 0 and this is 2. So, if I bring this 4, 3, 6, 9 down, so it will be for 2 times. 2 zeros are 0. So, this one is 8. This is again 0 and this is 2, 2, 0. This one is 4. And again, if I subtract this one, this is 9. So, if I take borrow, this is a 16 minus 8 and this is 2. And again, if I bring this 2, 0, 4, 0 down, so, so, this will be 289 into 7 if you see. So, this will be 63, 6. So, this is 63, 56, 62 and this is 14 and this value is 20. So, this goes in 7 times as uh, 2023 and clearly this one is 7. So, if I... Uh, take a borrow then this is a 17 so if i bring this 289 down so this value will be 17 17 zero as you know that 289 which is equal to zero so in yesterday's video i taught you about this division algorithm so the last reminder so these are all the reminders if you observe properly so if i divide this bigger number with the smaller number with six times we got the reminder as this one and after bringing this down and again dividing. So, this is the second reminder we got. After getting down this one and again dividing, we got the reminder as this one. How long we have to do this? So, we have to do this until we got 0 as the final reminder. See here, and the next one, if I bring this 2040 down and if I again divide, so this is the reminder. And see here, the last final thing here is the 0 is the reminder. So, we have to stop this and the last non-zero reminder will be the GCD. So, this will be the GCD of the given numbers. So, is it not very clear? So, we have to divide like this. So, we have to bring this down and again we have to make a division. So, again we have to bring this down and again we have to make a division and again 2040 I have brought down and again I made a division and finally we got a 0 as a reminder. So, the last non-zero reminder will be the GCD. GCD. So, clearly we got the GCD value of, so this is the last non-zero reminder. Therefore, the GCD of this one, this is 4, 2, 8, 2, 3 and this is a 6, 4, 0, 9 value is 17. So, this is the last non-zero reminder.
is it not simple so is it not so simple so after uh, this division so you have to find out which is the no last non zero remainder and we have to take it as consideration as it is the gcd between the two numbers and the next question here is so we have to find the gcd between the two numbers and we have to find even the relation of uh, u and v this is the second model the second thing here is first we have to make a division for this so what are the given numbers here the given numbers are 615 and 1080 so we have to make a division so i am dividing 615 this is 1080 so if you see this is this goes in one time this is a 615 so if i subtract this one this is 465 and again if i bring it down so this is a 615 so this goes in one time this is 4 6 5 so if i make a subtraction so this is clearly 150 and again if i bring it down that is 4 65 so it goes in three times 153 sir this is 450 and again what's the remainder here so this is 15 is the remainder again if i bring it down so for how many how long i have to do this until i get the remainder as zero so 15 so 15 tens are this is 1 150 and finally i got 0 so if i got 0 as a final remainder see what i have done so i have divided the bigger number with the smaller number so that the remainder the first remainder is 465 and after bringing this uh, 615 615 down and again um, after dividing so i got 150 as the remainder so after bringing this 465 down and again making a division so i got 15 as the remainder so again if i divide i got the final uh, remainder as zero so the last non zero remainder will be the gcd of these two see here the last non zero therefore the last non zero the last non zero remainder is equal to 15 therefore gcd of 615 and 1080 value is equal to 15 so now we have to find the relation between u and v and we have to find out the values of u as well as v so how to find these values so as i said you according to the division algorithm i am showing you some equations here so the some equations here so if 7 is divided by 2 So two three is a six, and this is one. So if I want this seven back, what you'll do? So if I want the seven back, what what you'll do? So you'll multiply these two. That is two into three six, and plus one the remainder. If you add, you'll be getting the seven back. So likewise, if I want one zero eight zero, what we have to do? So we have to multiply these two, and we have to add this remainder. So that's what I'm doing here. So one zero eight zero is equal to so one zero eight zero is equal to that is six one five into one plus the remainder here is four sixty five. Four sixty five is the remainder. And the next thing for six one five, what we have to do? So we have to multiply these two, and we have to add up this remainder. So six one five. Clearly, you see. This is a six one five will be. You have to multiply these two. That is four hundred and sixty five into one plus. This is the remainder here is one fifty. See here, my second equation is like this. And for this one, four hundred and sixty five. What we have to do? One fifty into three plus fifteen. See here, for if you see here. For four hundred and see see of four hundred and sixty five. What we have to do? One fifty into three. Plus the remainder here is fifteen. Clear. So our last remainder here is fifteen. And please remember that one. And from these three equations, I am transforming. So what is what is the value of fifteen from here? See from what is the value of a fifteen? So fifteen value is nothing but this is four hundred and sixty five minus. If I send to other side, this is one fifty into three. Clear. This is the first equation, and the next remainder here is one fifty. For the remainder, one fifty. One fifty. What we have to do? This is a six one five minus. This is four hundred and sixty five into one. Clear. And for 
this reminder that is 465 what we have to do so we have to send it to other side that is 1080 minus this is a 615 into 1 so this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 from our calculations first we have to make a division like this and we have to write all the values of uh, these three equations from these two the reminder values I have taken and see how we'll be getting the uh, relation between u into 615 and v into 1080. So for this what I am going to do is see first of all we have to start with 15. So the last reminder here is 15. So I am starting with 15. So what is the value of 15 here? 15 value is nothing but 465 minus this is 115 to 3. Clear from this 465 minus 115 to 3 is the answer and the next thing here is the next 150 value we have to change so I am changing this 150 from this equation so from this equation what is 150 value so 150 value is nothing first 15 value is this one and 150 I am shifting from this one and therefore this value will be 15 is equal to 465 minus this is minus 3 times of what is this 150 value 150 value is nothing but this one that is 615 into this is 465 into 1 clear and now if I multiply so this will be 15 is equal to this is 465 minus this is 3 into 615 and minus into minus plus this is 3 into 465, 465. So this is for one time and this is for three times. So 15 is equal to, so this is 1 plus 3. This is 4 into 465 minus this is 3 into 615. And here 465. And our uh, last reminder here is, what is our 465 value? 1080 minus this one. So, in place of uh, 465, this is 465, in place of this one, I am transforming. In place of 150 also, I have transformed. And here, this will be 15 is equal to, see here, this is 15 is equal to 4 times of, in place of 465, what we can write? 1080, so this is 1080 minus, this is a 615 into 1 minus this is a 3 into this is a 615 and clearly if I multiply 15 is equal to this is 4 into 1080 and if I multiply with 4 this will be 4 into this is a 615 and this is a 3 into this is a 615 see here this 15 value is equal to this is 4 into 1080 so if I take this common 615 if I take this a 615 common, this is minus 4 minus 3. And therefore, 15 is equal to this is 4 into 1080 plus this is a 615 into minus 7. And if I write it properly, that is a 615 into minus 7 plus 1080 into 4. So if I see the question here, so what is the question? The question is nothing but, see here, the question is nothing but 615 U into 1080 into V. So 615 into U. So this is of the form, this is the GCD value. So the GCD of the two numbers, GCD of the two numbers is 615 into U plus 1080 into V. See clear? So the GCD of these two numbers is 15 and 615 into U and 1080 into V. So in place of U we have minus 7 and in place of V we have 4. Therefore U value is equal to minus 7 and V value is equal to so this value is 4. So this is how we have to find the values of U as well as V. And this is also so simple. First of all we have to find the GCD between the two numbers. It is nothing but the simple division here. So this is the bigger number and this is the smaller number. After dividing we got the remainder as this one and after bringing this 615 down and again we make a simple division and therefore and after bringing 465 down and making a division here. So we have to 
do this until we get the remainder as 0. So the last non-zero remainder will be the GCD of between the two numbers. Therefore, we got the GCD as this one. And therefore, from the equation, so 1080 can be written as 615 into 1 plus 465. And 615 can be written as 465 into 1 plus 150. And 465 can be written as 150 into 3 plus 15. And 150 can be written as 15 into 10. So these are the three equations using the division algorithm. So here from these, I have taken the reminders. From this 15 can be written as these. So 465 minus 3 times of 150. And 150 can be written as this one and this one. So we got the three equations from these fundamental equations and therefore so starting so we got the gcd value as 15 and therefore from this what is the 15 value so 15 value is nothing but 465 minus 150 into 3 and we got 150 here and 465 here so we got 150 value as this one so here the 150 value i'm writing it as a 615 minus 465 465 into 1 and after multiplying see here again we got the another reminder so here 465 and here 465 this is 1 plus 3 this is 4 times and see here how to transform this one so we have the third equation as 465 as 1080 into this one so in place of this one i have uh, kept 1080 minus 615 into 1 and after multiplying so we got these multiples as you can see clearly u value is minus 7 and v value is 4 and this is how we have to solve these are the two models uh, for finding the gcd and hope you can solve any problem of any kind if you follow these videos definitely you will get a clear cut idea on how to take and how to make a division and uh, what will be the gcd and how long you have to do the division and everything it is uh, known through these videos and if you really like this video you know what to do please pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel go to the playlist so many videos many many videos Videos which are very very important are uploaded for your preparation and definitely your preparation will be damn easy and please subscribe to this channel and stay connected and i'll be uploading many more videos uh, have a look at those and thank you so much for staying till the end